From a liquor store in Orla Vista to the priciest shop in our most exclusive mall, welfare recipients are withdrawing tax dollars from ATMs at all kinds of surprising locations, even theme parks. It's horrible. I don't know what else to say. It's cash assistance meant to help needy families cover rent and basic living expenses. But unlike food stamps, there are no restrictions on what recipients can buy, and no one in state government is keeping track. Why am I working? <laughs> why, why am I not getting one of those cards? In studying 30 months of EBT card withdrawals, we uncovered almost 700 at stores with either beer or liquor in the name. The words tobacco and smoke showed up more than 200 times. One recipient may have had quite a New Year's party. On January 1st, 2009, he took out 200 bucks cash in this Orange County liquor master. But we found it's not just alcohol and cigarettes. In early February, there was a $400 ATM withdrawal inside this Neiman Marcus store at the Mall of Millennia. Three weeks later, an $80 withdrawal at the same store, where one pair of designer shoes may cost a thousand bucks. I think somebody needs to investigate and do something about it because Neiman Marcus, I mean, to shop for that type of clothing, I can't even afford it. The words SeaWorld, Disney, and Studio showed up 64 times. Some recipients pulled out $300 from theme park's main gates. Others withdrew cash at a monster mini golf near Tampa and even an adult video store in Fort Lauderdale. DCF says it doesn't have the resources to monitor every transaction and the agency couldn't stop this kind of spending anyway. 